Harry Bell here. Long time no see. Well, I guess it's actually only been a few weeks. The last time I talked to you, I said I would be coming back to explain more about the Citizenship Symposium, Youth for Real Change. And here I am, to do just that. Now I had some feedback from the last film. People said, Harry, it was much too serious. So, I'm wondering if this might make a difference today. Do you think you would listen now? The other feedback I got was, Harry, you were too quiet. That's not something that my family usually says to me. But for you, today I got myself one of these. Can you hear me now? Oh, that's kind of ridiculous. I don't need all that stuff to look silly. I'm wearing a bow tie. Thanks for taking your time in your staff meeting to listen to this. It's really important. I'm going to walk you through the program of the Citizenship Symposium. Every school has received one hard copy of the program for the symposium. I'll also tell you how to access it on the portal when I'm finished this video. So for now, let's have a look at what's inside. Here's the main cover of the symposium program. There are 84 pages for you to look through. And I can guarantee you that there will be something for kindergarten all the way through grade 12. You'll also notice it says May, June on the front. Some of the things that are on the inside actually start in April. And really, there's all kinds of things that will continue long past the end of June. Let's have a look inside. There is a table of contents that basically tells you where the three sections of the program are located. One of the sections is in school. And that's the kind of thing that you would actually be doing in your classes, in your buildings, with no planning really from the board office or anybody else other than just you. The next session that you're going to find is actually the board office session. And those are the kinds of activities that will happen right at the board office. There are quite a few of those, but not as many as the in-school sessions. And the third option is the outside division option. So those are the kind of things where you actually have to leave your buildings and go somewhere else in the city of Winnipeg. There are also pages here in the program that explain why we're doing the symposium. A couple of pages that show you how to navigate the symposium. And these pages are really important. The main thing that you need to know is that the first place that you have to start is as the teacher figuring out what interests you in the program. Then you need to plan with the kids in your class what you're going to do, and there's a procedure to follow. We're asking everybody to make sure that they register for something. And you may be thinking to yourself, well, why do I need to register if I'm not actually doing an event? Well, the answer to that is we're trying to collect data. The more data we have about what goes on in the Louis Riel School Division in terms of citizenship, the better it's going to be for everybody, certainly in terms of celebrating the successes that we have as a school division. So please do register. The other thing you need to know is that there is a transportation component often involved, and that's something that's going to be up to the discretion of each school. If there's something offered outside the school division, or indeed something that's happening at the board office, you're going to be in charge of your own transportation, and that includes the bus costs. As we continue through the program, you're going to notice all kinds of things. First of all, there will be a session number that you need to refer to when you're registering. You'll find all sorts of things where a whole class could be involved, where a single class can be involved, where four, five, six, seven, or ten kids in a class can be involved, and indeed there will also be things that adults can be involved in just by themselves. There's an excellent section that's about book studies. The book studies are available in both English and French. There will be book studies that are specific for kids and meant for you to borrow as a collection and to share with your students. There are also book study selections just for adults. 
And these are really meant to give you an opportunity for your own professional growth in the realm of citizenship. And by that, I mean anything to do with social justice, the environment, or the economy. All the books, all the packages, all the book studies are available after May 1st, and you'll be registering with um, Rene Delorm Centre to get those sent out to your school. In the end, you're going to notice that there really is something for everybody. If you like to debate, there's debating. If you like science, there's a science-like fair, a citizenship fair based on science. If you like volunteering, there's things for you to do. If you like reading, if you like writing, if you like being actively involved in your community, there is going to be something in this program for you. So what you're going to need to do now is check out the hard copy, the one that's sent to the school, and also check out online on the portal to see from page to page what it is that you want to do. I'm sitting here getting ready for the deluge of people who want to get involved with the Citizenship Symposium, Youth for Real Change. Maybe that's you. I'm going to anticipate there will be at least some people who want to know, do I have to get involved? And of course the answer is no. We already know that everybody is doing incredible things in schools, kindergarten through grade 12 in the realm of citizenship. The Citizenship Symposium is just another opportunity for people to connect the dots. And that's really what it's all about. I hope you have a really good break. You certainly deserve it. Thanks for listening. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.